So um, I ultimately try not to leave the coffee in the flask for more than one hour. Yeah, it, it gets um, the acidity really shoots up. It's really very bad for the tummy. If you drink that in the long run, uh, it actually bites through your stomach. Uh, in a wall layer, the acidity will it will slowly ego off. Yeah, that's that happened actually to my um, dad. He mm. drank kopi o did low every day in and he kept it in a thermo flask. Yeah, so that that's how I learned about some of these issues that can happen. So. Mm. May I ask? What your mm. what's your opinion of uh, drinking coffee ice? Ice coffee. Oh definitely no no. <laughs> definitely no. But it's like the young people drink iced coffee, but the right. more senior people will drink hot coffee. Okay, so I, um, this one has no scientific fact, right? And uh, no, no proven uh, statistics behind it, right? But this one, all the people behind the kopi tiam, all your old timers in Yakun and everything, they will tell you this don't drink kopi peng. Right. Uh, unfortunately, when we are running a business, uh, people still want it right? because Singapore is hot. Uh, the, 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 the downside about it is when it's cold, number one, you add more sugar. And I, I really mean a lot more sugar. Um, easily one cup of coffee, sometimes the amount of condensed milk you can add up is about four to five teaspoons. And when I say teaspoon in the kopi tiam, they don't take one and then they measure a flat, you know, they just like really a huge tablespoon goes in and it then after they add the condensation and, and, and because of that the sugar sometimes doesn't melt the crystallization and everything doesn't really go very well in there you drink that all at, in into your system it really stays in there um, I, I met this okay this one I have no claims I might be totally wrong about it but um, they were telling me that most people that actually drink iced coffee end up always with diabetes because after that, you know, they serve them coffee for 40 years, right? They see them coming back on wheelchairs. They lose a leg, lose a hand, lose their fingers, toes. Um, and that's why they always tell us, don't drink this coffee. Don't, they, they try to advise youngsters also not to drink iced coffee for this one reason. Yeah. And I, I, to me, I think there is a certain level of truth to this myth. Because if I, I just think about it, the amount of, sugar that you load in will you come in also naturally because you can't taste um, as much sweetness when you have all the ice in there. Yeah. And then you tend to ga dai. Yeah, a lot of people like ga dai for cold drinks, which I always tell them, hey, are you sure? Even in like, at my cafe, if I have somebody coming in to me, they want um kopi ping when right? they tell me ga dai, I will say, are you sure that you want to do ga dai? Because I, 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 I will tell them something like that, hoping that they will change. Huh? Yeah, hoping that they would, you know, go for siu tai or change to kopi o ko song ping or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, for my, my, my answer to the kopi ping answer is yeah, don't know. It's coffee. There's actually okay. uh, one question by Jay. She said that uh, she loved to drink kopi o. Right. And uh, she liked to drink those uh, kopi o, instant kopi o bags. Oh, uh, huh. Okay, that, that one depending. Uh, if you are getting a kopi o uh, kosong kind of pack, right, that they use the coffee powder alone, just kopi hun, uh, it's fine. Those are fine. Um, if you are getting some, look at the ingredients at the back again. Some of them actually add in uh, other things in there. It's not just coffee powder. Um, there was, a, this not to scare, but there, I, 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 I saw before, people using, um, use coffee grounds to make coffee again for people to, to, to into instant bags before in the industry. Yeah, this, this was in uh, Vietnam. So to me, sometimes those are, they add fake food flavorings into the used coffee grounds, which becomes very worrying because then uh, they, they say that they process, dry fuel, they kill all the bacteria and everything, but the flavor you're drinking is actually the coffee flavor and not the coffee itself. And it's total, it was totally done uh, in plain sight in Vietnam, even some use roasting of uh, with battery lead, which the, the, the factory actually got shut down. Yeah, uh, and, and these are for kopi uh, back then. So we were lucky that we have our food uh, 
security nets over here that actually prevented such imports of such food here la, and they shut down all these factories. La. There's also one question about uh, this uh, technology. How is it influencing your business? Does it yeah. actually cause it to lose human touch? Uh, okay, so for mm, maybe to share a little bit on this piece. So um, back to my diet. I, I had actually had a, when I started the business, something I wanted to do was um, something like this, like a little website called Breakfast Reunion. So um, the idea was a place where people order breakfast and coffee. The, 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 the idea behind it was to actually get people to uh, have a meal together. That's why to date, the, the things that I bring to the table right, has to have a reason for social interaction to happen. For Akong Ama to be able to sit on the table with their grandchildren, mom and dad. Why? Because I believe in the leadership over that coffee chat every day. It has to be a practice every day that they go through or regularly. Um, then as I was starting up the business, I realized actually it was not very implementable because everybody was so busy with their lives. Right? They keep going out, um, working late. It's so hard to get everybody at the same time. So all I could do was slow down one person in the family at least. So through the coffee, slow down one person. They bring coffee to them slowly. Um, then it became the cafe where I had the tables. The, create in the, the, the time to slow people down. Uh, and, and to me, these are technology. It's not just the website. It's not just the, 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 the coffee characters and the, the designs and all this stuff. Kind of the technology is the, the ta table is actually a technology if you think about it. Yeah, without a table, where will we sit and eat? Right, but how do you use a table to facilitate that to happen? So I actually, in my cafe last time in Thompson, we actually had a rewritable table where the kids can draw with a marker, mom and dad will watch them, they will slow down, and when the table is being drawn on, um, you can't exactly use your laptop, right? there's not enough space, food will be right in the middle, pizzas, sharing food, uh, your hands will be dirty, you you have to eat, you can't key on your phone anymore, you can't tap, type on your, your devices anymore, right? that forces then the family to talk, and then I had a, a giant rewritable wall, uh, easily six meters long. And the kids will all be drawing, expressing that day over there. And then that's when you pick up little nuance of what they're thinking, what they're hoping. Mom and dad starts to be more curious about it. And then you see them talking. To me, that is the win of the business, never about the coffee. Yeah. And when that happens to me, I feel happy. Yeah, I feel I achieved, we achieved something. So now back to that, that website, right? Um, that was, that was something I drew when I was in the hospital, on the hospital bed back then. Uh, it didn't materialize until now, uh, with, with COVID, when the whole, everything, everybody was forced to shut down. Right? Uh, the whole business had to be revamped overnight. I had to revisit that website. And I realized that, hey, actually, it, 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 it's, it's the perfect time for me to get parents now with home based learning, they're all trapped at home. To rethink what's trapped, right? Look at it as you are together with the family. You have all the time now, right? To lead your kids, to talk to them, for them to share with you, for you to learn from them. Uh, many times I, I feel that uh, when you're looking for shortcuts in life, right? And as entrepreneurs, right? You are looking for shortcuts in life. It's not, it's very important to look at what our forefathers did. Uh, our grandparents actually have all, a lot of answers. Just need to talk to them. Um, an example in like the satay, when I was making satay in the early days, huh? um, I was thinking of 101 ways to find a machine huh, to skewer the satay faster. I, I, I bought, I think, nearly five or six different plastic molds with your uncle. Every time, right, every, every day, different more I try, I cannot beat his hands. He, he will look the satay meat in faster than butter. And I try. <laughs> it takes a while for me to even skewer one. When I skewer one, he skewers 10, right? 
then um, I asked him, you know, if we get a factory a machine to make this, but this make it faster. He said, you try, lah, you try. Right? Take two different modes at the same time, load in the meat, moisturize the skill, you think it can be faster than him. Right, you got it all right. Okay, can, they are fast. Then when you put it on the grill, the meat sticks. <laughs> you pull it off, it cannot, it cannot be served. My aesthetic of the satay looks different. As you use your hand to feel the steak you use, you understand the texture of the meat. Like, those are things that the human touch can't replace at all. Yeah. And, and it's ever so important that even right down to when you are grating the pineapple, uh, you observe, you have to know the, the texture of the pineapple. You grate fast, slow, hard, softer, right? Um, and when you add all of that effort up to that one moment to serve that one satay, that's why it is nice. Yeah. Same for the coffee. Uh, or a pizza, even when my chef makes a pizza, he's so particular that he squeezes every air bubble inside the dough. Huh? The one dough that he knows when he uses his fingers to press every single air bubble to break it before he spreads on. And the hand method of him doing it, uh, we, we tried this before right? and I asked him if I buy a machine and then you know, we just send it through the machine and we dish up all the dough. Okay, it will be faster than you. Because we've seen it at some of the interviews in the airport and I said, okay, we have a little competition. I tried it. It was faster than the machine. <laughs> Why? It was creative. You lay five doughs flat, you open five pizzas immediately with one action, right? So it's, 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 the, human, it's the human technology that's a critical to the success of anything. Right? To me, I, I feel um, in all adversity, even if the machine will break down one day or so. And when that happens, the business can't stop. You have to understand how to run it without the machines first before the, the tools can come with it. It's just to help you to lighten the load. Yeah. Uh, and, and every time when we change the tools, right? Uh, we actually lose the, it's not the human touch. We actually lose institutional knowledge to be passed down on how to actually uh, rebound from an adversity. Yeah. That, and, and that knowledge is actually more important than anything else because if, if we, we look back at history, always it guides us, it helps us. Yeah, so I think it's um, always important to review that. Oh, okay, one minute left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, time has really flew by and now we're at 6.29 p.m. <laughs> My God, that's fast. Yes, yes. And we actually still have five questions in the chat. For this call, we want to start on time and end on time. So maybe I'll send you the questions later and you can see um, whether you want to answer them. Let's thank um, Benjamin for his very generous sharing. I feel that I've learned so much. Thank you, Sheva. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.